All right, so today we're really diving into something kind of wild, something pretty amazing, near-life surgery. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you've probably heard of those surgical simulations, right? Yeah. Those are super helpful, don't get me wrong, but this this is different. Yeah. Imagine, like, watching a surgery, but practically, in real time, you know, with every little detail, all the nuances. Yeah, it's a total game changer when we talk about teaching in medicine. It's like this level of you're really there that you just you can't get from the old ways and to really get what it's doing we got to go straight to caricon 2024 it's the cornea society of india's big get together every year and it wasn't just a quick hey look at this for near live surgery this is a big deal yeah. we're talking 11 hours fully <sighs> dedicated to it during the whole conference wow. and the procedures they covered it was huge they had everything corneal transplants were just the start they even had the really cutting edge stuff like dsck you know, that's uh, disseminate stripping endothelial keratoplasty for those of us who don't speak Dr. Lingo all the time. Yeah, DSEK, it's it's pretty fascinating stuff. What they can do now, they're replacing just the damaged plants of the cornea. So patients heal faster, outcomes are way better. And to see it live like that with top experts explaining as they go, man, you can't beat that for learning. It's like you get to peek inside the mind of this top surgeon. Why'd they make that choice? How'd they handle that? When it didn't go as planned, you're practically in the OR yourself. And that's exactly why near life surgery is having such an impact. We always talk about knowing the theory, but then actually using it. This bridges that gap. Doctors, nurses, whoever they get to watch, analyze, really learn from the best of the best. So even if you're thinking, well, I'm not cutting anyone open for a living, you can see why this matters, right? Think about what it could mean, surgery expertise everywhere for everyone better care all over the world and it's not just being able to get to it right it's how you learn too with near live surgery it's active think about it during a live procedure there's this back and forth this conversation happening the surgeon is talking through what they're doing answering questions people have and you whether you're there in person or watching remotely you get to break down each step think about if you do it differently hmm. that's where the real learning clicks i think oh totally you don't get that from a textbook it's all those visual cues, how the surgeon moves, how they decide what to do next. That stuff stays with you way longer. Exactly. And Caracon 2024 really showcased this beautifully. I mean, the whole conference, it was proof of how important near-life surgery is becoming in ophthalmology. They didn't mess around either. They had tons of ways to learn 16 different intensive courses, each 90 minutes long, ocular surface emergencies, the newest collagen cross-linking for corneal diseases. They covered it all in depth. Yeah. And speaking of the conference, you know, hats off to that organizing committee, Himanshu Metalia, Deepfire Meta, Sharon D'Souza, they put together a phenomenal program, really comprehensive and engaging. Totally. And get this, they even had a whole wet lab set up. So folks could practice things like DSOK, we know that one, but also DALK, deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty, another one that's changing corneal transplants completely, and SLT, Simple limbal epithelial transplantation. Right. These are hands-on experiences you can't get from a book. You can't. And that's what makes conferences like Caracon so vital, I think. It brings together all the top people, the newest research, these really innovative teaching tools like near-life surgery, all to push the field forward and get better care to the patients who need it. This has been amazing learning about all this with you today. The cornea stuff, how near leave might change the game for doctors learning. We've covered a lot. Everyone listening, thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Hope it got you curious, maybe gave you something to think about. Till next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and never be afraid to ask what if.